Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I am going to be doing episode two. Yeah, episode two of the prom series. And it is going to be on this look. It is a super simple smoked out winged liner with a red lip but i do take you step by step on the process don't forget to like and subscribe and go ahead and ring the bell so that you can get a notification of every new video that i post which will be more of these prom series and of course an additional video a week but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay to get started i've already primed my lids and I've set them, so let's go ahead and get into this. Just so you guys know, what I will be using today is a gel liner. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And uh, mainly what I'm going to try to do is use only drugstore products for this one. I know that last video I said that I was going to be using drugstore products. And I use a few high-end products, but just drugstore for the eyes because for my face I did use a little more. It's okay. If you want to go ahead and watch my foundation routine, go and click um, on the video. I'm going to set the link up down below, actually. And it's just the first prom look of the series. So go ahead and check that out so you can see my face. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Like I said, my eyes, they're already primed and they are ready to go. So basically, all I need to do is jump right into the eyes. I'm just trying to find a brush. Perfect for my eyes. Let's see. This one works. This is just an angled elf brush. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the back of my hand pretty messy because what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop a little bit of this out and then kind of just like thin this out as much as possible by pressing on either side. Do you get what I mean? Okay. I also have my mirror right here. I hope it's thing. Um, so I'm going to be looking in this direction. Or I guess I can just get a closer look with a mirror. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start as start off as if I was just doing regular uh, winged liner. And again, if you want to figure out how I do my winged liner, I'm going to also link that down below. Um, but if not, I will just walk you through this video. So I've got the eyeliner on my brush. I'm just gonna go out and do the very first line and connect it to the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so I actually wanna bring that down just a little lower. So I'm actually gonna connect that and angle it down just a little lower. Oh, just like that, perfect. If you want, just if you wanna extend that out, just make it a little pointier, just like that. You see what I mean? Actually, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit closer so you can really, really see what I'm doing. Ooh, okay, oh, much better. All right, uh, we're gonna just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side that we did on this side. even as we're gonna get right now you know what eyelashes fix just about everything so if they're really not that even they will be it'll be fine all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to fill that in all the way again regular wing liner as I would um, do with a felt tip or with a brush and some liner you know same old same old Alright, see, that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect, which I just realized I spent a lot of time trying to get it as precise as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we will be smudging it out. So keep that in mind, especially when you are connecting it. Um, just like make it as even and smooth as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be smudging it out. So just keep that in mind. Okay. 
Okay, before we keep moving forward, I'm gonna take some concealer. I'm gonna just use the Color Pop No Filter Concealer and put that on the back of my hand. And then just take a flat brush and I'm just, I wanna make the outer line, the, you know, the very initial line that we made, I wanna make that as clean and slick as possible because I want it to look really sharp. But also just setting, uh, putting a concealer under there, even if it's super sharp, it just makes it pop out, stand out a little more because it has a light base underneath it. Okay, now that I've cleaned that up, let's go ahead and keep moving forward. So, next I'm gonna dig in to the Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose palette, and we are gonna be just using the one black shade, which is that one right there. And I'm gonna be using the same thing, the same thing, the same brush that I just used to apply the wing liner. Now, what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna set my eyes. I would not set my eyes, set the gel liner with the black before getting crazy and smudging it, you know what I mean? Um, I'm mainly going to just set that like this portion of my eye <coughs> because I don't want this out here to get too messy before we smudge. So pretty much just this portion of my eye right here is what I'm going to be setting with the eyeshadow okay perfect now that I've said that I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush okay it's gonna look like this so it's just like almost a small little flat brush but it's just got a little bit of fluff to it because I we we're gonna start blending in some black eyeshadow to smudge that out. We're gonna actually mix the black from that palette and then we're gonna go into the Tartlet Toasted palette and I'm gonna use the color Fireside right there. Actually, I don't know if that's the actual color of that because um, my palette fell and if you know, if you have a Tarte palette, you know that these are magnetic in there so it, three of them fell out and I kind of just had to assume which one went where, but I always feel like the darkest shade always goes in the outer corner. I mean, like, this is also in the outer corner, if you get what I mean. So we're gonna just assume that it's Fireside. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a mixture of the black, which doesn't have a name in the Makeup Revolution palette and the color Fireside right there. And I'm gonna start patting this on top of the liner and then just ever so slightly smudging it up. So here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's start right here. So patting it and then smudging it upward a little bit. Do you see what I did there? Now you can kind of see that it's like a little smoky, almost. Let me go back with a little more black and just smudge it. Oh, just a tad bit. Here's the great thing about this. It almost gives you an excuse to not have such precise liner which isn't always the easiest thing to achieve I want to really leave that point out there so I'm not gonna draw I'm not gonna smudge it out all the way where the point is because again I want to leave that sharp still but I'm gonna get as close as I can without you know just stripping the point and just smudge it upward kind of see what, what I'm doing there. I want to make sure that you have that brown there. The brown is really just going to act as like a softener. When you get to the inner corner, don't go crazy because you again want to keep the inner corner clean so it doesn't just look like a... Let me think about that. The word I was about to use, I shouldn't say it. So it doesn't look like a messy. The word I was gonna say use was um not rated PG thirteen. 
Okay, now that we've finished smudging out the top liner, now we're going to move to the under eyes. Now, for the under eyes, I really, really want to get a very, very smoked out look because this is essentially what we're going for, which is a super smoky look. So, I'm going to take this small little wet and wild smudging brush and I'm going to start smudging in a little bit of some cool toned browns some kind of warm some kind of cool i'm gonna go in with this shade right there this is from the makeup revolution palette and i'm gonna smudge this out a whole lot under my eyes because i am gonna be going in with black and so i want that to have just a nice blend to it and not look so harsh so you're gonna smoke that out a lot like more than i usually smoke out my under eyes Okay, perfect, that looks about even. So now I'm gonna go in with the same brush that we packed on the brown and the black, and I'm gonna do the same thing, same colors, but I'm gonna keep this really, really close to my waterline. I'm not gonna take that all the way in, I'm gonna keep that about three-fourths of the way from my inner corner. Now I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this small little fluffy smudging brush, and I'm gonna take the first shade that we used to smudge everything out with, and the brown shade from the Tarte Palette Fireside. I'm gonna mix those two and I'm gonna use it to smudge out the brown and the black. That makes sense. So I really wanna get a nice smudged out look. Okay, something that I like that this eye is giving me that I don't feel like this eye is giving me very much is it bad connection between um, the smudge and the liner. So I'm going to just go back with a little bit of the gel liner and I'm going to extend this line just a little further down. That makes sense. So I'm going to take this up here and just connect almost those, the top and the bottom liner. You're going to go in and adjust that so that you get the angle that you want. You can go ahead and do that with the black and brown eyeshadow. Just as I'm doing there, I'm just kind of dragging this out. Now something that I want to go in before I keep moving forward is I'm going to take just a flat big shader brush like that. Actually, let's go in with this one. It's just a C-shaped um, brush and I'm going to take some loose powder and almost just drag this under here like that. You want to take like a excess amount something that Jaclyn Hill did one time and I absolutely loved it because I just liked how it made her her eyes look so much sharper now I'm going to wait leave that there for a sec if you want to go ahead and just keep buffing and buffing or not buffing but blending out that the bottom lash line so that you get a really nice blend actually i'm going to go back in with the initial uh white mild brush i'm not going to add any more color and i'm just going to start running this under here I wanna go in with some pretty dramatic lashes. So I'm going to apply some lashes off camera while I leave the powder there. But I'm gonna go in with the Sephora collection, um, these bottom ones right here. I have used these on my channel before. I'm not necessarily sure if those have a name, specifically those, but um, they look like this. They're pretty wispy and fluffy, so. I'm gonna apply these off camera and then we will be right back so we can finish up the under eyes and the inner corner and wrap it all up. Okay, I went ahead and added some highlight. I just went in with some champagne pop, of course. 
Are you surprised? I think I just want to add just a tiny bit more to my cheeks. Just a dust. I really do. And maybe some of my collarbone too. Freaking love champagne pop. And then I also went in with my lipstick as well. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I went in with the Vivid Matte Liquid Maybelline Lipstick in the color Rebel Red. This isn't my favorite liquid lipstick. My favorite liquid lipstick is Sephora Matte, and it's the number one, but I can't find it right now. So I think this red will have to do, of course. But that's pretty much it for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it was easy to follow along to. I wanna to try to make everything just very simple to follow along to because I know that I have some people that view my videos that aren't experts at makeup. I mean, I'm not, I'm no expert either. This is, I'm completely self-taught, but um, they just need, you know, a more step-by-step -step process. So I hope that you found this extremely, extremely helpful. Like I said in my last video, even if you're not going to prom, this is a cute look that you can wear out. I hope that you enjoyed and stay tuned so that you can see more of these prom series. But don't forget to like and subscribe and go ahead and ring the bell so that you can get a notification of every new video that I post. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, everybody.